Hello everybody and welcome back to another Deep Ogre Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Spider-Man Marvel Legends Retro Series, Lizard. So this guy is very, very good. I wasn't expecting to find him in stores, actually. I was very lucky to find him in stores. And um, just like, he's perfect. He's a perfect lizard. Um, especially with this head sculpt, which we'll get into when I look at details. But uh Damn, this guy's great. I love the pinless, I love the articulation, I love the tail. I just love everything about this guy. He really, really rocks. But uh, first, let's take a look at his accessories. Now, for the accessories, you do get a pair of... Well, not a pair of fists, but one fist and one open hand to grip these science flasks. These um, test tubes. So... They are very, very nice. They're sculpted in a translucent, clearish plastic, soft plastic, with some nice coloring inside of them. Very, very good. You have holes in the top if you want to put effect pieces in. And obviously, it can just, both of them can just fit right into that hand. And the lizard sculpt on this is very nice. I love the scale sculpt on these hands. Very, very, very good. And the head from the 60s animated show, like the classic one, I'm not a big fan of this. Just, I'm not a big fan of this look in general. I like a more reptilian-looking lizard, personally. But for those who like the classic, classic look, there's this. He's kind of frowning. He looks pissed, but eh, and eh, it's not really my thing. Technically, you could call the tail an accessory, because it comes separately in the package, but it is a bendy wire, so you get all sorts of movement out of it. I really, really love that. But the way you attach it is, there just is a, hold on, there is a plug right in the tail right there. All you want to do is just, you know, plug the tail in. And it's pretty easy to do. It does fall out kind of easily. I'm not really tugging on it. I'm tugging on it kind of hard. But when you're moving it, it does, it can fall out a little easier than I'd like, but eh, whatever. Of course, it doesn't do it on camera for me, but, you know, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> um, but other than that, this thing, this thing's detail is just on par, or on point. You have a very, very sexy, sexy Rex head sculpt. Very nice tongue. I love it flickering out. I love the deep yellow eyes with the one slit in them. Just very, very good sculpt all the way around. I love the wash that they put on the green, too. Just really accentuates that scale sculpt. Nice black wrinkly shirt. Very, very nice. Kind of this crosshatch detail on him. You can kind of see it in the light right there. The lab coat is soft, so it will get out of the way of articulation. Other than that, it is a very nice sculpt. Pinless for the arms, as previously mentioned in the beginning. Very, very nice. Mine has... Some weird black spots on them, but of course I can just scrap that off, scrape that off. Then you have the torn look up there. I think these wrists are a separate piece glued in. You can see that right there. It's a very nice wash to the wrists. Again, splayed out hands for your other options. And this one's more grippy. For nice purple pants, just like the Hulk. Again, pinless. Nice wrinkles, very, very nice rips at the bottom. Again, different or a separate piece for the uh, shin. Nice feet as well, very reptilian looking. Overall, I think this guy's detail is fantastic. So for articulation, you get a ball and a hinge and then another ball joint at the neck. So all that combined, mine, the ball joint on mine is very tight. So I kind of have to loosen that up a little bit here soon but he can combined with the neck joint look up about that far look down about that far very very nice and of course you get some wonderful tilt using that neck joint arm can go out about that far down about that far full 360 biceps swivel double jointed elbows very nice all the way up hinge uh, or hinge swivel at the wrist all hands are the same you get a diaphragm the chair fell over you get a diaphragm joint right here so you can get some tilt out of that and a little bit of crunch 
but you do also have an ab joint right there, so he can crunch forward that far, back that far, and he can obviously turn to side to side and side to side like that. Leg can kick up only about that far, back about that far, beautiful lizard spread, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, can almost kick his own ass, almost, if you can't force it. A swivel at the shin and foot can go up, down, and beautiful anchor, ankle pivot. Almost forgot to mention another thing with articulation, this can swivel around 360, and of course it is on a bendy wire, so you can get it in pretty much any pose you would like it to be in. So for size comparison, here he is next to Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime, and the Trent, or not Transformers, Marvel Legends Civil War Black Panther. Here he is next to some other Spider-Man villains, you have Green Goblin and the movie Venom. And here he is next to some Spider-Man, the Game of Earth, Miles Morales, review up on the channel, and the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man uh, review up on the channel. Actually, I wish, my one gripe about this figure, the only gripe I have is that I wish he was taller. I wish they just like bumped up to size just a little bit, just, just a little bit, just enough to make him taller, or at least, since not significantly, but at least like half an inch taller than this Spider-Man. I would love it if they did that, because this is an all-new sculpt. They could have, but they just didn't, sadly. Um, but oh well. Someday, the, we'll make we'll get another lizard. But for now, this is just great. Which leads me into my final thoughts. So, for my final thoughts, I think this figure is literally the perfect lizard. I think that it is the best lizard figure. And it's sad that it's Walmart exclusive and not everybody can get theirs. I was very lucky to find mine at an end cap in one of the cardboard ones for Into the Spider-Verse 2. Sadly, not everybody can has that luxury. Not everybody can pop over to Walmart or just walk over to their Walmart every day. So that aspect sucks. But the other aspect of this figure is the pinless tech, the double joints on everything that really gets some great range, the sculpt, the paint. The paint application on this thing is fantastic. And the attention to detail on, like, the shirt, just like the small sculpt like that, really gets to me. I really love that. The bendy wired tail, I'm glad that they didn't go with hinges like they did on the Build-A-Figure Lizard. I'm glad that they gave us this more uh, evil-type head sculpt with the yellow eyes and the teeth showing than the just the soft-lipped one. I'm really, really happy that they gave us these science flasks. Um, and they even have little ports in them for smoke effects or whatever you want to do. So that is awesome. I love all of that. So this is pretty much the perfect lizard figure and one of my favorite Marvel Legends in my collection now. So uh, I'll give this guy a 10 out of 10. Solid, solid, solid figure. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you want to see more from the channel and you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.